Hello everyone. So I'm preparing for my first week at work. It will be a training week in the field, camping for five days. And I want to put together my meals and my outfits. I'm tired and nervous and anxious and excited. My job is starting to feel even more real. Uh, <laughs> I It's just, you know, three more days until we start. And the first week is going to be a week of training and we'll be out as a group camping at various sites and traveling around training to find these elusive birds. And most of the time I will be I'm alone out there somewhere in the wilderness, uh, but this first week will be all of the, the technicians that have been hired for this project will be meeting and training together. So right now I'm preparing for my food situation. I need four breakfasts, five lunches and four dinners. So this is what, these are my thoughts. Let me take a moment to have LaCroix. Breakfast. The day starts at 6 a.m. So knowing me, I'm just not gonna be hungry, but I want to make sure that if I do wake up hungry, I have something to eat. So I'm taking three of each flavor of RX bar. We have a blueberry and a coconut chocolate. And these are fairly substantial bars, so I think that will be plenty to get me through the morning. I will also, of course, have coffee. And when base camping, this is my favorite coffee to take. This is a pour over coffee, and it comes with these little individual packets. And then inside is a bag with this like really nifty pour over contraption and you just pour your boiling water into the grounds and it goes into the cup and you're done. All right, lunch is going to be an apple, cheese sticks. I have a cheddar cheese stick and also a mozzarella cheese stick, string cheese. I have raw almonds, and these little epic venison strips. Now again, I only need five of these. Maybe I haven't said this already, but I always like to bring extra because you just never know. Uh, maybe someone else needs food, or maybe you're stuck out there for an extra day, or maybe you're just particularly hungry on a given day. So bringing a bunch of those, and then, that leaves me with dinner, which I'm having the biggest struggle with, but I think I've sorted it out. Uh, I haven't gotten everything yet, but I think what I'm going to do is make salads. Uh, I'm going to be extra luxurious, bring a big cooler, <laughs> and have spinach and kale. And those are a hardier leaf, and I think they will last longer because I don't know, I don't want my greens to get really wilty by the end of the trip. I don't know how long everything's going to stay cool in the cooler. I feel like maybe I should have some kind of backup plan just in case the greens get totally destroyed. I mean, it's going to be over 100 degrees when we're out there. I have a really good cooler, but will it, will it last the week? That's my conundrum. I really want to have fresh vegetables though. It's really nice to be able to do that. And my body will feel very sad <laughs> if I can't have like a salad uh, in the evening, I think. So with the salad, I'm planning on having one of these two things. Both are fish options. One is a wild pink salmon and the other is herring fillets. There are two fillets in each of these boxes, so this is four fillets all together. But I don't know if I want salmon all four nights. Um, so I thought I could spice it up with 
a different fish and do wild pairing. So we'll see, I'm still kind of toying with that. Oh, and in the salad would be these Kalmata olives, walnuts, probably carrots and cucumber. I'll do like, I'll pre-cut everything I think and just put it in a big Tupperware. And then this Caesar dressing. Oh, and of course, this is really important. I'm going to bring some chocolate with me. I have two options. This is a 90% and this is an 88% chocolate. I'm a big chocolate addict, so chocolate and coffee, gotta have some, some of that every day. And then I'll probably take some LaCroix and some cold brews as well. I have these cold brews. This is from a local coffee shop here, one of my favorites, Cartel, and then some LaCroix. And that way, for lunchtime, I'll have something really cold and refreshing, because like I said, it's gonna be really hot. Okay, that's all for the food. This is also really important, water. I'm going to be taking a large Nalgene and three of the 32 ounce Nalgenes, plus a five gallon jug. So that ought to do me for water because I don't think we'll have access to water anymore. Here is outfit number one. We have a long sleeve shirt and pants with my bedrock sandals, a baseball cap, and my buff scarf, which is really nice in the summertime. You can get it wet and just kind of helps keep you cooled down. Outfit number two is a long sleeve button up, super lightweight shirt with big front pockets, a pair of shorts, and my Red Wing Iron Rangers boots for the more challenging terrain. And again, the baseball cap and the buff. I almost forgot, a rain jacket. I know you're thinking, Alicia, you live in the desert. What are you thinking, you eternal optimist? Uh, <laughs> it will be monsoon season soon, which is our summer rains. They start in July, so I want to make sure that I have this in my kit because I expect, I hope, that I will get rained on plenty while out there. <laughs>